and today is such an exciting video. I have a new setup. I moved my room around so I could have better lighting and and a better background. And in this video, I will be doing three DIY notebooks. This is my first DIY video on this channel. I am so pumped. I think they turned out so cute and the editing was great. Well, comment down below when you start school and if you are excited. I am so excited and I'm actually using these notebooks for school. So yes, let's get into the DIY. So this is the 80s notebook. It was actually an accident, but turned out cute. So what what you're going to need is just a composition notebook, some paint brushes, and paint colors of your choice. I got my composition notebook from Dollar Store, so it was very cheap, and I had all of the paints and paint brushes at my house. So yeah, I really only paid a dollar. But the first thing you're gonna do is tape off like the binding of this composition notebook. I don't, I think that's what it's called, but yeah, just tape it off so you don't get any um, unwanted paint on there. So the first thing that I did was just um, take like a piece of tape and I just sectioned off a bunch of areas to paint in and basically this is just making a barrier between the little paint sections and yeah just do this however you would like it's totally customizable and you can do as much or as little sections as you would like so yeah pretty basic and simple just for the record you will end up taking this tape off <laughs> Okay, so now I just squirted out all the different paint colors I liked and then I just painted a couple sections of the same color. So here, as you can see, I'm just painting in one of the little sections purple and then I decided to do another section purple and yes, it will need a couple of coats because the composition notebook is black and it's hard to paint over it, I guess, but yeah. so. Then I decided to do pink in the middle. This was super vibrant and I think it added really cute, you know, flow to it. I don't really know. And then I added yellow, which surprisingly wasn't hard to get on. I thought it would take a bunch of um, coats, but really didn't. Um, yeah, so you can do, do whatever colors you choose and just paint in between these sections. So this is the final product. I just did blue, pink, and purple, and yellow. And then this is how it turned out. I just peeled off the tape and it turned out like an 80s notebook. So here is the next notebook. It is a strawberry notebook, but you can totally do whatever fruit you like best. So the first thing I did was squirt some white pieces of paint on there, but then I realized you gotta um, tape up the rim just like the last one. And then I just painted the um, cover of the notebook all white, and I think this makes the best contrast between the colors. So to depend on whichever fruit you decide to do but we're doing strawberries so I just made like kind of rounded um, triangles but I did a bunch of different shapes and then after this mess this mess all happened I just like took paint from that one strawberry and I just outlined it with puppy paint clearly you can use whatever paint you would like and yeah I think this turned out pretty cute I think I do need a little more practice but um yeah so for the um um stems i just did different um shapes because all stems of fruits are different you know and um then some of them i made like all pokey some of them i just 
made like little leaves as you can see I don't know how to explain it but yeah that's pretty simple and that's how I did it so the next notebook we'll be making is this black and white heart notebook so this is pretty simple I didn't tape up the rim because it was black I was just being careful so I just painted the whole cover black and yeah this is pretty the probably the easiest one out of them all and then you just paint white hearts you can be big hearts you can be small hearts but you totally don't have to do these colors I just thought this would be a cute contrast between the black and the white and it would be simple and you know cute for school so yeah this was the quickest and easiest one out of them all so highly recommend this one bye guys thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you like this video along with some of the others on my channel make sure you subscribe by hitting the red button down below and if you really love my videos then click the notification bell to know when I post and guys we need a name for our bar all the viewers on this channel so if you have any suggestions comment down below I have literally no ideas so yeah and comment down below some video suggestions I don't really have any it can be for tutorial Tuesday or film Friday see you guys later bye